Hello, so um, today we're going to be talking about employer branding. So this time Rachel is joining us. Hello. She is our marketing executive at Hewitt Recruitment. So she's an expert in all things recruitment marketing. I am, yes. <laughs> so we are here to talk about employer branding, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, so I guess the first thing is to define employer branding. Um, so essentially, to, to put it simply, um, it's your reputation as an employer. It's what um, people who don't work for your company think of you, and that's just from what they've heard. Um, so you can't really control your employer brand as such um, because it's people's opinions, but you can influence it through the marketing that you do around it. Yeah. Um, so Rachel, over to you about why it is important to manage your employer brand. Yes, so especially in this current market, 90% of candidates, the first thing they do is have a look at what your company culture is, your values, before they even apply for the role. So it's very important to make sure that that is at the forefront of any recruitment strategy that you're putting in place, that you have your values, you have your culture, you know who you are as a business and what you stand for and you put it out there and you promote it um, as strongly as possible. Yeah, so it's essentially how you communicate who, like the personality of the business, isn't it, yeah, almost? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Okay, so should we share our top tips? Yes. So if we were going to create the world's greatest employer brand, mm -hmm. uh, what would our top tips be then? So I think for me, it would probably be um, about making sure it's a genuine reflection of the company mm -hmm. and the company culture. Um, so it always wants to be like a fly on the wall documentary mm -hmm. of yes. the business. So um, that if someone was then to join, it would be completely congruent. It's, it's what they were expecting. There's no kind of surprises. There's yeah. no kind of, hang on, that looked really fun there. And now I've joined and that's not what it's like. Exactly. It needs to be real. Mm -hmm. And I think following on from that, it's your employee engagement. So any events, any charities or volunteer days like we would do, uh, the employees are happy to promote that on their social media. They're happy to do a quick video on it about it. They're happy to make a post because they understand the importance and they know the impact and the value it has on the brand as a company and they're happy in the place that they do it so they're happy to yeah yeah and they know that that's what's going to bring in great colleagues for them to work with exactly and so then anyone that does join as you say it's it flows because everything is as it would be yeah yeah I, I know you're very good at chasing people up to I am. videos aren't you? so maybe uh companies need a kind of a employee branding champion who goes around and uh, reminds is. people to do these videos. That they're not afraid to like keep pushing them and be like, yeah. let's just do a quick video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you've heard um, about kind of what employee branding is, why it's important and our top tips, but Rachel has put together a lot more information. Um, so you've got a bit more of a deep dive if you want to have a good read about it. Yeah, there's a blog um, on our website and then in that blog there is a downloadable checklist so you can tick the box everything and make sure if you're on the right track or if you need any more help and please reach out to us if you do find that you want some more help. Yeah, Rachel, she's on call 24 hours a day. Yes. So uh, you can just call her any time of the day and <laughs> answer her your questions. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>